I didn't plan this, but this matches. It's cute. Hello, everybody. Today's video is going to be my July reading wrap up. Yes. And then I'm also going to include my August TBR at the end of this video. I only read five books in July, which is crazy because I felt like I read more, but then when I looked back, I'm like, no, I only read five. And three of those were a series. So, but overall, it was a pretty good reading month, I would say. It ended a lot better than it started. We'll just say that. I'm really excited for August, to be honest. I feel like that's going to be a really, really good reading month for me, and I can't wait to do that wrap-up, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get into my July. Okay, so, I only have two out of these because my mom is borrowing the first one, but I read the Summer I Turned Pretty series. I bought the whole box set on Amazon because I love the show, and I was like, oh, the books are going to be so good. Here's the thing. I don't know what the deal is with Jenny Han, but I also have To All the Boys I've Loved Before. I thought the movies were better than the books, like the changes and everything else, and I feel the same way about The Summer I Turned Pretty. I think the series is better than the show. Wait, what? <laughs> I think the show is better than the books, and I hate that. I'm just like, wait. So it's like twice in a row I've read books from her, and I thought her show adaptations were better than the books were. So they're still good nonetheless. Or I would say that they're good to okay. I feel like if I read these when I was in middle school or like freshman in high school, I would have really loved these. But as a 24 year old, not really. And it's not because they're YA because I love a lot of YA books that I feel like I can read now. And I don't feel that way. I don't feel like they're immature or they're too young for me. But I did feel that way about this series. Um, Belly, I don't know. I just feel like she's so much more likable in the show than she is in the books and she just I don't know. I don't love love I don't love love triangles either. And um this love triangle was like I really didn't even care who she ended up with. I mean I feel like if I have to choose I'm Team Conrad, but I don't know. I don't really like either of them to be honest. I wouldn't read these again if I'm being totally honest. I feel like the first book I would rate a three stars. It was a solid three stars. I feel like that book is the best one in the whole series. But I will say with this just really quick, it has a lot of flashbacks. So there's alternate timelines and there's flashbacks. And to be honest, I just felt like a lot of the flashbacks in these books were very unnecessary. Like, they didn't add anything to the storyline, and it was just two pages of random flashbacks that I'm just like, okay, but what is this adding to the story? Like, it's adding nothing. Book two, I would probably also rate a three stars, but like, or maybe like a 2.75 or something, not as good as the first one. And then the last book, I would probably rate like a two and a half. Um, I just thought it was weird, to be honest. I hate saying the word unrealistic because it's like a fake, it's a fictional book, but like unrealistic to the point where it's just like very immature and like not my vibe, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. The way that this ended, I just, if you know, you know, um, Jeremiah and Conrad would literally never speak to each other again. I don't think they would be cool. Um, and yeah, that's all I'm going to say about these. I actually do recommend them if you like this type of thing. And like I said, they're not bad reads. They're pretty good. I... Just for me personally, I was expecting more, but if you're in middle school or you're in like high school or something, I would definitely read these. I think you would like them. Then after that, I read Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. This is the second book in, I think it's called, what is this series called? The Ballinger Sisters. The Ballinger? Ballinger? I think that's the last name. This was better than the first book. I'm just going to say that already. I liked it better than the first one. It happened one summer. That one was okay. I graded that a three stars too, but I felt like it was just kind of, I don't know. I didn't really love the main characters that much. I didn't really like believe in their love story, if you know what I'm saying. But with Hannah and Fox, I really liked them. It's a cute summer romance. If you're just looking for something lighthearted, funny, easy to read, I would definitely pick this up. Take it to the beach or the lake or something. Do people read at the lake? We're back. Okay, my camera, or not my camera, but my battery died. So, I got that changed out. But, so basically, it's about Hannah, who's Piper's sister, and then Fox is Brendan's friend, which those were the two main characters, and it happened one summer. 
and they're friends which I like friends to lovers that's like one of my favorite tropes I'm a sucker for that I just think it's so cute wait what happened in this book <laughs> oh yeah okay so he's like a fisherman you know and he has a reputation of being like a ladies man you know what I'm saying but he has a crush on her and then she's also in LA and then she's kind of going back and forth because her sister lives in this small town She's wanting to advance in her career, but she's also like super into music and she's just she's just a cool chick. I like her a lot. Yeah, that's pretty much all I can say because it's all I can remember right now and I don't want to give anything else away. I rated this a three stars. Um, it was a strong three stars, so it was definitely I liked this more than I liked the Summer I Turned Pretty series. And then the last book I read, which I'm the most excited to talk about, is You've Seen It Everywhere. Flawless. I have been wanting this for so long. I have been wanting to read it because I've seen it everywhere, all over TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, everywhere. I am not really into like the country life, but I'm into like the country aesthetic. You know what I mean? Like most of us are. So I was like, oh, that'd be cute to read about. And it takes place in Canada, which I didn't know that, but it's like a place called Chestnut Springs and it takes place in Canada. So I thought that was cool. This follows Summer and Rhett. So Rhett is a professional bull rider and then Summer is Rhett's manager's daughter. So his manager and kind of like PR person, Summer is his daughter and she's basically sent after like a huge PR stunt that makes Rhett look not very good. She bas He basically sends her to be his like babysitter, quote unquote. And yeah, they don't like each other at first, obviously, because he's like, I'm 32 years old. Like, why do I need a babysitter and someone who's way younger than me at that? But they obviously develop into something more and it's really cute. And it was also cool. Like, this wasn't just romance. It was so much more like it was a bunch of family dynamic, all that stuff. Like, she has a very interesting relationship with her sister and everything like that. There were a lot of like parts in this book that actually genuinely shocked me and I was like, I was not expecting that. It was really good. And I liked the way it ended a lot too. So I appreciated that the epilogue in this wasn't like the cheesy classical, like they got married and, you know, have babies. It was like an actual epilogue that was cute and different. So I appreciated that. But overall, I rated this a four stars. Um, I really liked their relationship somewhere in Rhett, but it started off a little bit slow for me, to be honest. I was kind of, like, bored a little bit, and I was like, oh, this wasn't, you know, what I was expecting. But then it got really good, like, a few chapters, and then I was like, okay, I'm down with this. But overall, I rate this a four stars. And I will tell you, like, spoiler, I've been reading this like crazy. This has jump-started me to the whole series, and I'm literally already reading Reckless right now. So I already read Heartless and Powerless, but I started Heartless, like, the last day of July and I didn't really get that far so I'm just including it in my August TBR or my August wrap up but I have Heartless and Flawless now and I'm gonna get Powerless and Reckless because apparently these covers are going away and I like these covers way more than the new ones so with the mirrors and stuff and I love the Powerless and the Reckless cover because Reckless has the cute little boots you know and then Powerless has the ballerina on front so I like those a lot but I already read Heartless I already read Powerless and oh my gosh, I literally can't wait to talk about them next month because those I like better than Flawless personally. But yeah, that's crazy. I only read five books last month. It felt like more than that, but now we'll just get into my August TBR. So as I already told you, I read Heartless, I read Powerless, and I'm on Reckless right now. I'm reading it on my iPad and oh, it's so good. I'm like halfway through it already and we're on the sixth day of August. So I've already read like half of the amount of books that I read last month in the first week, which is crazy. I've been saying this for so long, but I seriously need to just finish this because this is such a big book. Like, look at that. Um, but I need to just finish this because I want to actually reread A Court of Mist and Fury and A Court of Wings and Ruin. And I don't want to do that until I read this because I'm going to actually reread like the whole series. But A Court of Mist and Fury is just my favorite. So I really can't wait to reread that. But I've been saying this for months. I read the series in March and April and I'm like I need to just finish this already then I'm gonna read this this month mark my words okay I'm going to read this then I also want to read beach read before August is up because I feel like August is the last month of summer obviously 
And I've been wanting to read this all summer, so I need to hurry up and just freaking read it. I don't know why I've been putting it off. I just pick up other books instead of this one. I don't get it. I also have Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. I read Part of Your World by her, and I was obsessed. I love her writing style so much. She writes banter really well between characters. And also, Elsie Silver. I forgot to mention, um, her banter is also really good. I love the banter in her books. If you like Abby Jimenez, you would love Elsie Silver. And if you love Elsie Silver, I think you would love Abby Jimenez. They go, I think their writing styles are really good. Um, but I need to read this because I bought this because I kind of want to own like all of her books, to be honest. I just really loved Part of Your World. And I picked this up. I want to read this. I want to read Life's Too Short. I just want to read like all of her books. Let's go to my iPad and see what I have in my library because I'm literally adding books to my iPad library or my Kindle library like every single day. I really want to read The Serpent in the Wings of Night by Carissa Broadbent. I have heard such good things about this book and her writing in general. I heard she's really good at fantasy and I love fantasy. That's my favorite genre. So I definitely want to read that this month. I also really want to read Daughter of No Worlds, which is also by her. I don't know what either of these books are about, but I love fantasy and I've heard great things. Sarah Caroli talked about them, so I'm really excited to read them. And then keeping with the kind of flawless country theme, I also want to read Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. I don't really know what that book's about either, but I know it's a country romance type of thing. And I saw Larry Reads talk about it on her TikTok and she said that she basically read that whole book in one night. So I'm could add more books to my TBR, but honestly, since I'm going to read this big ass book next month, I'm not going to add too many and then disappoint myself. I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next video, which will be a 24 hour reading vlog, like how many books I can read in a 24 hour time period type of thing. I hope you guys have a good day and night wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Bye!